What is going on guys, Casual Savagey, in this video I'm talking about a Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini announced and I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know. We've already been treated to the likes of the camera centric Galaxy K or Galaxy S5 Zoom but the one we really waited for was the downsized Galaxy S5 Mini. Yesterday the Korean company has granted our wish, officially unveiling the device by means of a press release and now I will tell you all the info. The world of smartphones is a speck of dominated businesses and as such we'll dive straight into the internal hardware. The Galaxy S5 Mini boasts a quad-core SoC clocked at 1.4GHz allied to a reasonable 1.5GB of RAM and although this isn't anything to write home about by comparison to the main Galaxy S5, it'll satisfy the requirements of the mid-range target. The device also packs a 4.5-inch HD Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1280 x 720 and although once again this won't dazzle nor yield the acclaim that the full-size Galaxy S5 has managed so far in its short lifespan. It's still present Android 4.4 KitKat in all of its glory. The Galaxy S5's rear-facing camera, like its display, has also been heavily lauded by consumers and commentators alike. But while the Mini's 8 megapixel offering doesn't come with perks like 4K video capture, it will still provide a decent enough point and shoot experience to ensure that you don't miss like that Kodak moment. From the back, Samsung describes the device's design as a unique perforated pattern on the back cover creating a modern and sleek look, along with a premium soft touch grip, while the front profile also appears fairly similar to the Galaxy S5. Indeed, as well as bearing a striking resemblance to the April release, it also carries over several of its key features, notable IP67 certification, ultra power saving mode, heart rate sensor and that fingerprint scanner. As for colours, you get charcoal black, shimmery white, electric blue and copper gold and as you would expect there's also LTE connectivity. The full list of specs are now on the screen, obviously you won't have enough time to read this until I end the video so you can pause it and just read through it if you'd like. The device will launch over the next couple of weeks in Russia with expansion beyond a field set to follow later. On first impression, what do you make of the Galaxy S5 Mini? Me personally, I think it is going to be a good device. It is fairly similar, just a bit smaller. And yeah, no price revealed, so that might put you off a bit. I'm going around the same price as an iPhone 5C like they're done with the 5S and 5C, it's going to be around the price of a 5C so yeah, you let me know what you think and yeah, please subscribe, rate and peace